as soon as I hit record, somebody walks by. I'm just having one of those hair days. See all these people? Anyways, I keep putting this video off. Um, and then finally I was just like, I didn't have any privacy in the apartment. So I was like, I'll just go out to the truck and make this video because it is a celebration for every month. Sorry. For every month, um, that I get Suboxone behind me. So, um, today marks five months and three days of me off of Suboxone. Totally off Suboxone. Um, somebody came for me in the comments a couple days ago and I have just been having like, I was going to say that day was just one of those days and I just really didn't need a negative comment, but this week has been one of those weeks where it's just like when it rains, it pours and just life is not always peaches and cream, but Apparently, somebody said that I don't get to my point fast enough, or I don't explain things well enough, and I'm trying to be better at that, and um, anxiety is a reality of getting off of Suboxone. Um, I'm trying to be better at mentally preparing for making videos, but then I feel like I'll never make videos because I have so much to say, but I'm trying to be wise about what I share with the world and just everything. But yeah, today is five months and three days of me cutting Suboxone out of my life. Um, I was at four milligrams when I stopped cold turkey and yeah, I don't, I feel like this is kind of a snake, a fake smile. Sorry. My anxiety is like, oops. Okay. It's kind of a fake smile. Like, I'm having a rough week. And just, you know, life. I don't know. Things I don't really want to share publicly. But it's draining. Like, life can be draining. And it's... I'm still trying to... I don't know. Learn how to be without that friend that Suboxone was. And that crutch that Suboxone was. And... Life isn't always fair, and the Bible says that. The Bi Jesus said, in this world you'll have troubles, but take heart, I've overcome the world. Um, he's the one constant. Nobody in life will understand you as much as God does, because he made you, and he sees everything. He sees your thoughts, he sees your heart, he sees other people's thoughts, other people's intentions, your own intentions. Like, I'm... I know some, it's, it's just interesting because I know some of the people that are going to watch this are my family members and people I attend church with. And some people are going to be strangers from YouTube and Facebook. And there's an awesome community of um, recovering addicts out there or people on Suboxone or whatever. So it's like, I'm, I'm trying to consider everybody with what I am saying, but I have to consider the one who's getting me through all this, and it's God, and the Bible does say, cast all your cares on the Lord because he cares for you, and oh, it's been hills and valleys, but today is five months and three days, and hopefully I'll come back, you know, within a couple days and have more to talk about, but I do want to announce it because it is exciting and it is, it's amazing. Um, I'm trying to think, I just got hired, so I'm working again. I'm so excited about that. Um, I talked to my sister and my mom on the phone the other day and um, I was talking about something that was going on at the gym and they were both like, Jesse, do you realize you you work out now? Like, you used to never work out. You used to never, I, I never worked out. And now it's, it feels so good. It feels so good to get off the treadmill. And it, there, it's true. Like it does something to your mind and it's just, it feels amazing. Like it feels, I crave that, like to go just sweat things out. And the endorphins that you get after are Nothing compares to me being able to look in the mirror after a workout to feel that good naturally and to look at myself in the face and, and know I don't have Suboxone in my system. It's amazing. It's wonderful. 
So I'm going to end this now, but, um, oh, and that's perfect. I'm ending it at five minutes and a couple seconds, and it's been five months of me off Suboxone. God bless.